Well, hi dear there, pluckers. I've a sore fingers back with you again for what I hope will be an interesting uh, video for you all. Okay, it's not a lesson; it's uh, it's an information video, if you like. Um, most of you will probably recognise this guitar. I've uh, it's a Taylor Big Baby, which I've used for the vast majority of my guitar lessons, uh, which has been making them now for about four years or thereabouts. Um, I came across a YouTube video a while ago um, about improving the sound of your acoustic guitar and uh, I watched it a few times and it made somewhat perfect sense to me what the gentleman was trying to explain and what he was doing and uh, so after a, I left it for a while and then thought about it again and eventually I got round to doing it. It's a slight modification to the bridge, okay. Um, so uh, I thought I'd share my experience with you and what I thought about the guitar when I'd done it. <laughs> okay, so what it's all about, uh, it's about the, trying to maximise the string energy of all the strings into the guitar to improve the... Um, response, the uh, sustain and the actual probably volume to some extent. Okay, so just a general overall improvement to the guitar's sound. Um, and what it entails really, it's all about where the string goes into the uh, hole when you change your strings and the ball you put the ball end in and then you push the peg in and basically with most modern guitars the bridge pins are got a slot in yeah so they're slotted and you push the uh, pin in and you basically trap the guitar string in the hole and uh, tighten it up and so uh, away you go um, but what if you when you look at it uh, in great depth <laughs> the ball end uh, is basically wedged between the edge of the the hole and the bridge pin okay so the theory is that the ball end is not in full contact with the bottom of the sound the, the bridge plate underneath there's a piece of wood underneath this um, in, on the inside of the guitar called the bridge plate and the ball end is not sitting fully on this bridge plate so therefore it's not transferring the, the uh, full uh, energy from the string or strings all of them okay so the idea is that you um, you you actually instead of just having a, a hole you cut a slot in it all the, you see, with a sm small saw you cut a slot in it so when you put the string in the ball end actually goes along the slot a little way and um, is actually then in full contact when it's tightened up with the bottom of the uh, the bridge plate okay and you do this for all the six strings okay um, so when you when you've actually tightened your string up obviously this guitar is in uh, normal tuning you know I can actually just to prove you that the bridge pin is not doing anything at all I'll take out a bridge pin and nothing happens okay you can do this with any of the six strings okay so what you do is when you've done you cut the slot uh, with a saw and you use I mean you can use then you can change the bridge pins to unslotted where you've got this slot in the bridge pin you buy unslotted ones but if you're a cheapskate like me you just turn it round so that the you've just got the round side and you just push it back in and just it just gives you that confidence that if something does happen the string's not going to fly out at you okay and also it, it obviously fills the hole <laughs> So the bridge pin is not actually holding the string in place now. It just stops it coming out, but it's not actually doing anything. So you've got the full string tension 
uh, applied to the bottom of the bridge plate. And the second part is uh, a lot of guitars you'll see that the the break the break angle of the strings where it comes over the uh, the bridge saddle, okay, where it goes down into the hole. It's a very shallow angle, probably about 30 degrees or something. Well, that needs to be improved as well to make it slightly steeper, ideally around about 45 degrees. OK, so it's actually pushing the string is actually pushing down harder on the saddle when it go, before it goes down into the hole. You've got a sharper angle and you do that with the same saw. OK, uh, and you basically cut the slot that goes down towards the hole you just make that a 45 degree angle okay now so I've done it on this guitar uh, a few weeks ago a couple of weeks ago and um, uh, in my mind it has improved the guitar sound quite noticeably first thing I noticed when I first played it was I felt the sound coming through the body into my chest when I played a chord, I could actually feel it, uh, the sound being transferred into my chest, which sort of makes me feel that the, the guitar is receiving more energy from the strings and it's been transferred to the sound. Anyway, I'm not, I'm not uh, saying that you've got to do this. <laughs> it's something I've taken on and uh, I have to agree that I think it does. My guitar has, him, has uh, benefited it from doing it, right? So just to show you the saws that you that I used, you can buy these on Amazon. They come in two sizes. Uh, there's a if you want to do it in millimeters, there's a 1.3 millimeters thickness blade, and there's a 0.7. Okay. Now um, I bought both, but having done it, I think really you only need the thicker one, the 1.3 millimeters or I think that's um, something like 51 thou or something okay, okay. so but th the idea is that you use the thicker one for the bottom E, the A string and the D string and you use the uh, thinner one for the uh, G string, B string and top E string but I found with the way that the strings are wound when they come round the ball and then they're wrapped round it makes it quite thick and I like, like I think uh, the video that I'm about to uh, share with you uh, he said he only used the uh, thicker one so but I got both just in case anyway so just to let you know that okay so I think I'm obviously I'm in the UK and uh, these saws are uh, just under 20 pounds English money okay just to let you know, uh, he he's an, the, the chap I'm going to refer you to is in America that made the video that I am talking about, and uh, I think he, he bought it from uh, somewhere in America, Stuart, I think it's something there, and he paid about twenty six dollars or something, I think. Right, so um, the the video I'm a, I'll put a link in my description box to take you to the video. It's an ex excellent video. He's a guitar maker himself, okay? So he makes guitars for a living, so he should know what he's talking about. And it's a, an outfit called uh, Driftwood Guitars. I think they're in Florida, I think. I think. Um, and a very knowledgeable gentleman. And uh, he's, uh, he will explain the theory behind it. And also, he has got uh, a guitar uh, that's actually cut in half. So he can show you the other side of the soundboard and exactly what's going on with the ball end. You can actually see it in close up and it makes perfect sense, I think. Um, so I'll put a link to that in the um, description box underneath this video. OK, so um, just a, it's just an information video. I don't I don't want everybody to go out and do it, but uh, uh, it certainly, in my opinion, has made a, a, a reasonably worthwhile improvement. Okay, so if you fancy a go, um, it can't make it any worse, can it? 
because you're not doing anything radical to your guitar uh, so you can't but I don't think in my opinion I think you can make it any worse but uh, I just thought I'd share it with you um, and uh, make it make of it what you will okay so uh, please watch the video if you're interested and uh, see see it in detail what I'm trying to explain to you um, you may think you might the one question that a lot of people ask me straight away is uh, if it's such a good idea why don't they do it on all guitars well it's all to do with costings I believe um, until about 1945 Martin actually did do this you know, on every guitar they put out they cut in these slots but after about 1945 they went into mass production and to save time and money they decided to use slotted bridge pins and just drill a hole and don't slot it okay and everybody else has followed suit since I think it's all to do with costings okay so anyway I hope you enjoyed that and it sort of uh, whetted your appetite to watch the uh, video from Driftwood uh, Guitars which is excellent bye for now and uh, please comment if you have uh, feel strongly enough about one way or the other thanks very much for watching bye for now